Hi YouTube. This video is going to be a product review of the Shea Moisture Yucca and Baobab product mm -hmm. line. I was asked to do this review, so I'm going to share my thoughts and opinions on these products. Uh, thickening Growth Milk. I have the Volumizing Conditioner. I have the Anti-Breakage Mask. There we go. So essentially, I love this product line. I love the product line mainly because the ingredients in the product are all natural. So it's very uncommon to find a product line where the ingredients are all natural and the, and the product is actually inexpensive. So that is one of the perks I think is of this product line. Another thing that I like about this product line is that if your hair loves protein, these products are heavily loaded with protein, so that's why they are anti-breakage type of thickening type of um, uh, product. So yucca and, and some of these other ingredients that are found in these products here, they are to thicken the hair, especially if you have fine, thin hair. And that's what the bottle advertises as far as it's supposed to help, you know, give fine, thin hair volume, thickness, and things of that matter. So uh, these things have ingredients that are supposed to help that. So I do like those properties about this. So I'll just kind of share how I use these products. So this is the anti-breakage uh, mask. I don't use this as, a, as like a deep conditioner or anything like that. As I've said in previous videos, for some odd reason, Shea Moisture's deep conditioner type of products don't work on my hair as a deep conditioner. I don't feel like they do anything for my hair. So I use them as twisting agents. So this has been getting rotation for uh, when I twist my hair. So I'll show you how much I have left. So, probably can't see that. There we go, so you can see that. So, this has about this much left in the bottle. It's pretty low, so I really do love this stuff. And it smells really good, so I like to twist my hair with this. And because my hair loves protein, I love to use products that naturally have protein in them, and I don't have to do as many protein treatments as long as I use products that have protein. But I typically do a protein treatment every six to eight weeks because I, I notice that that's when my hair starts to shed. So here, the volumizing conditioner. This cannot be used alone as like a wash and go, anything like that. I've tried to use it as a wash and go, and I'll insert a picture here to show how my hair looks when I use it as a wash and go. It shrunk and turned to an afro. It didn't really define my hair or anything like that. But then again, I do have a 4C-ish type of hair texture, so I don't have curls anyway, so I wasn't expecting anything, you know. But it didn't leave my hair soft. It didn't leave it manageable, anything of like that nature. I wasn't able to detangle my hair with it, anything like that. So it's pretty much gets used as a styler also. So because I feel like I don't know. This really doesn't do anything to my hair in terms of volumizing it. I just use it as a styler. So this one and the other one gets used as a styler. And this one is like a hair milk. It's like a, a cream that you would use to seal your hair, things like that, to moisturize your hair. I use it to moisturize my hair. I also use this as a styler. So all the Shea Moisture products except the shampoos for me they all get used as stylers regardless of what they are. Conditioner or if it's an actual styler. I use them all as stylers. So that's just the results that I've gotten from the product line. They don't work for me as far as deep conditioning, things like that. And I really don't think that they work as moisturizers as long as you use the lock method where you use a leave-in and oil and then apply this on top as you're sealing. Once you do that, these are very moisturizing and it holds the moisture in my hair for days, at least three days, three or four days. I usually now, with using these products, only have to moisturize my hair pretty much like once a week I can go without. Sometimes I'll do it twice just in case I feel like my hair is dry. But if it's feeling dry, I'll go ahead and like moisturize twice a week. So that is my short review on these product lines and I hope it was helpful. Uh, of course, products work differently on different types of hair, different thicknesses of hair, things like that. So 
if you uh, don't mind trying a product, if anything, I would say try this one as a styler versus any of the other products, really. I mean, I use them all as stylers, so of course I don't need three different stylers from the same product line, but this one would be my go-to if I had to pick one. So, uh, hope this was helpful, and I will see you all in the next video. Alrighty, bye.